the art recollection started with a nursing home in Cork, Abbeylands Nursing Home, and they came to Lismore Castle Arts and viewed the William Sazal exhibition, Take Me to the Other Side, that was running during the summer. So there was eight participants from Abbeylands and they um, looked at the exhibition and looked at the different works. We looked at the different ways that you can interpret the work. And one of the pieces seemed to strike them the most, and it was actually the piece of the saddle. From there, we done a day long workshop with the ladies. We talked about journey and how, how we were going to make the work. So we talked about their lives and things that they've been through, because I think people have this understanding that art is kind of elite and, you know, to the side kind of thing. We made work based on everyday occurrences. So when I was talking to the kids even, we were talking about journeys or trips that they'd taken. So we were talking about how did they get to school? How did they get home? How did they get to lunch? Just little things that happen every day that we don't realise we could turn into an image that could be hung in a gallery. So when the ladies in Abbeylands made the work in Lismore Castle, they based it on what they'd seen but base it on their interpretation or how they felt when they seen the images. So from there, I took the work made by the eight Abbeylands ladies and took it to Waterpark Secondary School. We explained that these were made by ladies from Abbeylands Nursing Home. That was based on an exhibition that they weren't going to see and they made the work based on that. So they interpreted it in different ways. Like some of them used the images that they seen directly, which is okay. And when we asked them about it, they explained the works, like why they liked it, or that they just simply liked the image or the colors or the texture that was used in the picture. During the workshop with the ladies from the Abbeylands workshop, we were talking about journeys and trips and traveling. Obviously times have changed from when they were younger to when I was younger. And quite a lot of them were quite religious. Um, so we were, this lady didn't really have an idea of what she wanted to do. So we were talking about um, things that were prominent when she was growing up and she talked about religion. She talked about when she goes to mass, she always takes out her rosary beads. She wasn't really able to draw them. So one of the other girls actually drew the picture for her, but she kind of curated where she wanted everything, where she wanted the hand, how she wanted the rosary beads presented and she painted them in. But if you look at the picture, all that's coloured in is the rosary beads. So that's quite prominent for her. And then you see one of the school children actually interpreted her work and made it into dog tags. So obviously rosary beads wouldn't be important for him, but dog tags with his name on it was something that he felt was more modern. And it's just, it's a lovely idea, I think, that they got to see each other's work and interpret it and work from there.